Okay, so I recently bought a few Swiss Army knives from Victorinox, um, obviously from Switzerland or Germany, wherever they come from. And I purchased three limited edition classics. And the second video I'm doing on the classics is the Gone Fishing one. Again, this is from their 2020 collection. And I liked the uh, Gone Fishing. I haven't really gone fishing for a while, but obviously I do enjoy fishing. And just like the fact is the whole gone fishing kind of like slogan where you're not there. So it's like bunking off just to go fishing. Um, so anyway, so if a closer look at this particular model. Okay, so see if we can get in close and have a look at the front scale. You can obviously see the Gone Fishing and the Victorian Ox logo in green. Um, like a wooden deck with some flies and lures, hooks and a fishing line. And on the back, there's obviously a fisherman in the river catching a fish. So obviously with all the classics, it's about 58 millimeters long, around nine millimeters deep with a blade of three and a half centimeters, 35 millimeters and around half a centimetre, five millimetres wide for its widest point. Um, it's obviously non-locking, so it's perfectly legal in the UK. And it's actually small enough to use as a keyring to connect your keys. So this tool comes with seven functions. Obviously the first and main one being the small blade. Then we have the scissors, which are on the back. Then we have the nail file and 2.5 millimeter flathead screwdriver. Obviously the key ring also seems to count as a feature and a function. And let's close these up. And the final two are the toothpick and the tweezers. So on this model, the tweezers come in red. I think maybe black might have been a better suit for it. And the toothpick comes in the cream white, which actually, again, bear in mind there's a, a rock picture there, probably fits in quite well. But I'll try a couple of different colours in in a minute. Okay, let's have a look and do a blade test and scissor test. Okay, so just a general normal piece of A4 paper. I can't remember the thickness of it but probably around actually I can't remember the thickness of it as I've just looked it's an 80 whatever they call it the GMS or whatever the thickness rating is so I see first of all you can feel the edge but let's see how well it actually slices or cuts the paper straight out of the box straight out of factory actually it's not too bad a little bit there. As you can see, not too bad straight from factory. Okay, let's have a go with the scissors and see how well he's cut. I'm doing it the wrong way, so I'll change it around in a second. As you can see, I'm using my finger rather than the thumb to cut them, but it wasn't too bad. And again, a nice smooth cut with no jagged edges that you can sometimes get with normal scissors. Okay, hold it the right way around. Let's see if I can cut the width of this A4 paper. Again, that was amazingly easy for such a small pair of scissors. As you can see from the cut, although it's, it's not perfectly flat, I wasn't following any line, just done it by eye. So it's really quite straight. 
and smooth. And the cut is actually smoother than the cut of the paper. And there's no jagged edges at all. So again, really impressed. So now let's go through the different colors of the toothpick and tweezers and take out the original ones and put them to the side out of the way. So obviously it came with the red tweezers. So let's start with red, red tweezers in and red toothpick in. It's obviously a matching pair. Again, that's not too bad on the deck inside, I guess. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll try the blue ones. So blue in on the deck inside and blue in on the water side. So again, not sure that really goes with the actual deck in. Mm, if there was water, that would be fine, but obviously it's on a rock, so I don't really think that kind of matches in well. Okay, the green tweezers in. And the green toothpick. So, again, doesn't really, I don't know, doesn't really go well with the decking, but actually kind of does, or could match in with the logo. And on the rock, it does stand out. You could argue it's a bit of a plant, but I'm not sure. Okay, and then let's try the black ones. So the black ones on the deck in, which I think kind of work. It doesn't stand out too much, but on the front or on the back, sorry, where it's on the rock, then doesn't really look in place. So let's take the black toothpick out. Mm. Let's go with green. Is it black and green? And the blue one. Black and blue. Okay, let's go back with the original cream white. So black and white tools. But anyway, what do you think? Leave comments below or leave comments in the comment section what you think are the best color options with that. But either way, I'm gonna put it back to normal, take the black one out and put the original red one back in and figure out what colors I like at a later point. But thanks for watching and please take the opportunity to look at some of my other videos.